What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is one of the more serious videos on my channel where I'm addressing the situation as you can see by the title of the incident that occurred at Oakwell in the away end yesterday. Not a video I particularly want to be making but I thought I'd talk about the situation, address the alleged incident that has happened and what the Fulham Football Club have mentioned and give you my opinions and what I've heard on it and talk a little bit about it. Like I said, it's not something I wanted to talk about and not something that's ideal to make a video as I actually wanted to make a match review on the Barnsley Fulham game yesterday but I thought I'm going to put my point across over the alleged incident that I just mentioned. So prior to the game at Oko yesterday where you guys did see Barnsley beating Fulham 1-0 a great result, but to a side, that's irrelevant for what we're about to talk about. Um, as you guys know, Barnsley fan, follow fan, neutral fan, whoever you support, the um, player Cyrus Christie, who is a is a player at Fulham, did have a sister who was in the ground yesterday. Obviously, coming to support her brother, who played for Fulham yesterday, and support obviously Christie's teammates. Um, after the game yesterday, I do believe it was a couple of hours after, Fulham posted a tweet, posted a message on their website, whatever it was. Uh, but I didn't see it until I got home later that night. The, tw the tweet went along the lines of d saying that basically Cyrus Christie's sister, like I said, that was there to support him and support the Fulham boys in their first away trip at Barza yesterday has been racially abused and allegedly been uh, physically abused. Which, straight away, without going into detail, if this is true, because it's only allegedly until the case actually gets, like, finalised and find actual proof of what happened. This is bad. This is out of order. This is something that we, as football fans, we don't want this in the Football League. They have obviously posted out saying that Fulham Football Club, if they do find any like legal evidence to overrule it being alleged, because when it's saying alleged, it's just the reports and what's been said. So Fulham rightly have said that whoever, if they do find out what's happened, if they do find out that this is actually what's happened and it's the truth and they can prove that the people have done this, that they have been racially abusive or physically abusive to Cyrus Christie's sister, then they shall take the full and maximum consequences, which I do agree. Like I said earlier, there's no room in football for that. They should be banned. These people, like they said on Sky Sports, they shouldn't be allowed anywhere near football ground again. And like Christie posted as a tweet, in the tweet he contains saying, I hope you guys are happy with what you've done. And also the the um, band's wife who condoned it after being physically and racially abusive towards my sister. You'll get what's coming. And I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy to you said, making yourself look big man. So he's put a tweet out. He's obviously not happy. Because he can't be safe with his, sis his sister being in the crowd, which should never be a thing. And at the end of it, put... Despite the result, despite how disappointed and angry you are of the result, there's no need to take it this far. So, my opinion of it, from what I've read and what I can make out, is obviously been, if I had to guess, I'd say some pissed up Fulham fans or some very passionate but too passionate Fulham fans that have obviously been very disappointed slash angry about the result. And obviously, they've seen Christie's sister in the stand and they, they, they've either targeted her because they know who they are or they've stupidly just gone for a woman because they think they're big and they can hit a woman like that, apparently. This is all alleged, like I said. So like I say, in my opinion, they've probably been pissed up. If they know Christie's sister was, they've probably targeted her for, oh yeah, your brother's played shock in this game, blah, blah, blah. Obviously they've been very pissed off with the result. And obviously showered stuff at her because they are coloured, uh, they, they are black. And they've obviously targeted them, started shouting stuff at his sister. Probably something along the lines of, your brother is really bad and abusing him. 
abusing her about him because they're disappointed in the loss and they're probably being drunk. And if they had made physical abuse and made contact with her, that's obviously out of order. And just just stupid. But I do hope the EFL and Fulham Football Club do crack down and do find evidence of who it was and they do get it sorted and they do get these people banned from every single ground in the country. Because, like I said, there's no place for that in our football. But, yeah, I just wanted to address it. I know it's only short, but I wanted to put my opinion out. I hope it gets sorted. I hope they get banned for life and never get to come to a football thing again. For one, you, you can be passionate to your team, but when you're taking it to that extent in a football ground, it's just stupid. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. I'm not doing this for views, doing this for attention. I just wanted to put my point across and let you guys know what's happened if you haven't already seen the situation. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments and what EFL should do to sort it out. But yeah, that's been me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff.